Hello everyone, welcome to PyLearning. In today's video, we'll talk about comparison operators in object-oriented programming. In my previous video, we talked about arithmetic operators. These magic methods that we'll discuss in these videos are also similar to those kind of magic methods. Basically, they help you in comparing different instance types in your Python programming. Now, let's go through each of those dunder methods that I have already put down here. So the first is less than operator. So it goes like this, underscore, double underscore, LT, double underscore. So basically here, if self dot X is less than other dot X, return true, else return false. Very simple, you know. Similarly, uh, there is the GT operator or greater than operator. You see, it's basically an abbreviation of what exactly it is doing. So here, if self dot X is greater than other dot X, return true, else return false. Now, here's the thing. One thing you need to remember while using these operators is the right name. All right. So, for example, uh, greater than operator is represented as GT. Less than equal to operator is represented as LE. So, less than operator is LT. Like you see here, LT, it's just less than. Less than equal to is LE. Similarly, greater than equal to is GE. Now, equality is EQ. Here you can see uh, this code is wrong. Self dot x equal to equal to other dot x, then return true, else return false. Similarly, there is NE, which is not equal to. Here the comment is wrong. Let me change it. Forgot to change the comments. So basically, if self dot x is not equal to other dot x, return true. Now, let me show you something. Let's print something here. So print EQ magic method is being performed all right so now let's go ahead build our instances so i can say x equal to number three two and y equal to number three all right so now let's say print x equal to equal to y so we are using the equal to equal to y so let's see what happens here so now you see it prints out equal to equal to magic method is being performed. So based on your operator that you use, it automatically looks for that particular magic method. So for example, let's also try out another one here. So let's say less than equal to print just to show you that this uh, magic method is being used. Let's say LE is being executed or performed, whatever. So now let's go ahead and uh, do x less than equal to y okay so now if i run this you see again le is being executed so python automatically finds out the magic method that you are trying to perform by based on the operator that you are using now i think this is one of the very important and very beneficial magic methods that you can use in your Python class. You can easily do all kinds of operation and basically have really good comparison algorithms in your Python class by executing these kind of magic methods. Now, I would highly recommend you to play around with all these magic methods. Uh, go through this video and uh, try to uh, make sure that your magic method names are always correct, right? And also the logic inside is also correct, you know? So thank you guys. I hope you like this video. I will see you in the next video and there we will talk about assignment operators.